Hey, this is Frankie, and in this video we are going to talk about configuring Vim. So, just like the previous video, if you haven't seen it, uh, nothing crazy, nothing complicated, just the stuff that you need to be somewhat productive in Vim. Okay, so this is my Vim RC, which goes in your home directory. It's uh, slash dot Vim RC. Uh, you can just edit it, it should already exist if you have Vim installed. Uh, so we'll just go over this one line at a time. Uh, set tab stop for, set shift width for, set expand tab. So we're just going to look at these three first. Uh, this means by default indent with four spaces and when I press the tab key I want you to use spaces. Uh, the ruler is, I believe it just displays a ruler and we want everything to be saved as UTF-8 by default. Great. So now what we have down here, I don't actually know what auto CMD file type means. All I know is that when the file type is YAML or YML, I want you to use two spaces. And uh, when it's fish or make, I want you to not, uh, when I press tab, actually insert a tab. Uh, it is important in make and it's just what people do in fish. Uh, so then down here, we get into a little bit of complicated stuff that I copied and pasted um, from here to here. So what this does is uh, it trims white spaces at the end of a line. Uh, I don't know, I guess there's no way, no button for this in Vim by default. Okay, so trim white spaces. And then when I press F2, it calls trim white space and it gets rid of white spaces at the end of lines. So I could just go down here, add some white space at the end of the line, and then press F2, and it gets rid of it. Um, pretty self-explanatory. And then what this does here is it displays, you saw those characters when there's, when you have just like random white space hanging around at the end of lines, it just lets you know, uh, so you know you have to clear it. That's, that's all that does. And Here's the most complicated thing. I actually wrote this myself. Um, so what it does is it's a function called toggle width, and it checks if the shift width is four, and if it is, it sets it to two, and then it displays a little thing at the bottom. I'm gonna press this set indent to two, set indent to four. So it just toggles back and forth between them based on whatever the current shift width is. So if I'm in a file and it's using two indents, or I want it to use two indents, I just hit F3, and then it'll use two indents for everything. And down here, I just bind it to F3. Now this is the important part, we are using Pathogen, which is the easiest way to install plugins for Vim, and Vim is very light by default, it doesn't have a lot of the useful things you want, so you need a way to have plugins installed. Uh, so we're just going to pop over to Chrome and see what pathogen is. So it's just a thing and you just run a command and it installs and then you just put the stuff in your uh, VimRC. Fairly straightforward. And then when you want to install a plugin, like let's say we want to install VimGo, which I don't have installed currently, you just Google, you know, VimGo because you want to use Go in Vim and then you scroll down and you see install, and then it tells you how to install it with pathogen, and you copy, and you paste, and it will install Vim Go, and it's done. So uh, in your home directory, slash dot Vim is where all this stuff is. So you see you have the pathogen plugin thing here, which is automatically loaded, and then you have your other plugins including VimGo, which we just installed. So uh, these plugins are uh, anything varying from just here's how you should highlight this to this Go one, which looks very complicated from this picture here. Uh, looks like it has a lot of crazy stuff in it. So that's going to be significantly different. Um, so let's see. All of these things for the most part are syntax highlighting and editor config, which doesn't even work. I don't even know. I should probably just get rid of that. And you complete me is just, um, 
it's just like a general file completion like probably if i were to type toggle yeah it just like pops up uh, there's nothing like this by default in vim and i just wanted something that more or less works uh, so that's just my generic file completion it works in uh, especially things that are c-like it'll actually look across multiple files in the directory and find things that you probably meant to type there so it's cool and that's it that's literally everything a lot of people have like 5,000 line vim rcs and it's just crazy but this is all i need at least uh, i hope this helped you and i hope you can use this and not too much more to have vim working for you i'll see you in the next video